starting on the left side of the machine, let's review the three loss monitor sensors with the John Deere Vision Track system. The rotor loss sensor is located behind the left cowling on the left hand rear of the rotor. This sensor registers grain that has not been threshed early enough in the machine and is not landing on the chaffer pre-cleaner. The two sensors on the rear of the machine for your losses are the shoe loss. These sensors pick up grain that have not been separated from crop material. Ensure that each sensor is debris free and clean to ensure accurate measuring of grain losses throughout the field. Common adjustments to reduce shoe loss would be to open the chaffer settings or adjust fan speed based on your crop mat. Located here are the tailings return sensors. They measure the flow and volume of tailings being rethreshed into the system. When referencing header losses, ensure that you are viewing the crop loss at the front axle, not towards the rear of the machine. When referencing machine losses, ensure that header losses are not being calculated at the same time as machine losses. You may notice this procedure has many steps, and the official procedure has changed some from prior recommendations. As you see in this instructions list, you are not powering down the machine while moving. Where did I get these power shutdown instructions? I went through the Go Harvest app on my smart device. As you can see, it gives you step-by-step -step instructions to begin a loss calculation. We can select our crop type from the list and input the residue disposal pattern, header width and feet, approximate yield, and the count of seeds you are seeing in a one by one foot squared area. Each calculation is then stored so you can see the progress you're making. I encourage you all to go download the Go Harvest app as you prepare for this harvest season. On our S700 display, once we have the combine adjusted for acceptable loss levels, we can touch anywhere in the harvest settings area to access our harvest loss monitor performance target. Selecting set to current will calibrate the loss monitor to the current levels. This should be done while moving throughout the field and harvesting a representative level of crop and a representative speed. This number can be used as a reference point for setting a second machine. The sensitivity of this monitor can be adjusted for seed size by selecting the advanced settings icon. The separator and shoe resolution slide bars can be adjusted to help resolve inconsistencies with the visual grain loss identifiers. Both the calibration and resolution settings are stored per crop type. If utilizing auto maintain on your S700 series combine, setting a new performance target will reset your loss monitor value based on the data gathered at the time the target was acquired. And this concludes the video for the S-Series loss monitor setup and calibrations. As you can see, it is very simple to optimize your loss monitor system to accurately gauge your losses throughout the season. Please reference our video on S700 automation to pursue further technology enhancements.